So thank you for watching this uh, short uh, echocardiography video. This is another segment in our Butterfly IQ series. I'm Christopher Vescopoulos from Medical Specialist Associates. And for this particular topic, we'll talk about the normal parasternal long axis view. And what are some of the basic measurements that we can get uh, when we obtain that uh, parasternal long axis view? So first is anatomy and probe positioning for a parasternal long axis view. So how do we want the probe positioned? Well, we want the transducer positioned uh, between on the left side of the, the chest, on the left sternal edge, and between the second and somewhere between the second and the fourth intercostal space. So here we show uh, on the left side of the chest, here's the sternum, and this is approximately somewhere between the second and the fourth uh, uh, intercostal space. And what we want is, is that we want the marker here pointing towards the right shoulder, and that's what you see here. And so if we obtain this, what are we expecting to see? We're expecting to see here a right ventricle up top, a left ventricle below, left ventricular outflow track, aortic valve, the aorta, proximal aorta here, and then the left atrium down here, as well as the mitral valve. So let's take a, uh, let's take a look at what this looks like live. So here we obtained again our probe positioning between the second and the fourth intercostal space on the left side of the sternum. And here I'll run a clip and we can see up here our right ventricle, down here our left ventricle, our left ventricle kicking out towards the left ventricular outflow track. You can see a little bit of the aorta here and a little bit of the proximal uh, aortic valve here and a little bit of the proximal aorta, as well as down here the mitral valve, and then here the left atrium. So once we obtain this view, what are some of the measurements that we could be interested in? Well, let's start with getting a left atrial size. And so again, when we get our, uh, our image in view for this parasternal long, uh, long axis view, we can have an M mode um, come down and we can put that M mode line straight through the left atrium. This is particularly nice here because what we want to do is we want to measure the left atrium in end diastole. And here this is pretty convenient, right? You can see here systole where this is shortening and then here met diastole. And what we're interested in is maximum diastole and you could really see it really well here in M mode. And what we do is we put our calipers across from wall to wall and here we get a measurement of 2.81 and What's a normal left atrial size? Well, anything that's less than four centimeters. So this is particularly one way to do it, again, with the M mode. However, what we can do alternatively here is we can just catch, uh, get a video clip and then scroll through our images, and then we can catch the left atrium here in maximum diastole, and we can do the same thing. So from wall to wall measure, here we get a measurement of 2.19, and again, uh, the uh, appropriate measurement is something less than four centimeters. So now in addition to our left atrium, we're also interested in our ventricle and we can do the same thing. Um, here, uh, we can get the, uh, take our M mode, uh, put it on, and then have the M mode come down here through the left uh, ventricle, somewhere around mid papillary or you know proximal to the papillaries uh, here. And again, we can look for our uh, contraction, our systole and our diastole, and find an area of maximum diastole. And here we can uh, have our calipers come on and draw across. And here we get a size here of 4.51. So for here, we want our left ventricular size to be uh, something less than five centimeters. And so this is within normal uh, limits. So just like our left uh, atrial assessment prior, um, where we did it with M mode, we can do it without M mode. And here again, we can catch a video clip and we can scroll through and get the ventricle when it's in maximum end diastole. And then just draw from wall to wall across and get a measurement. And here we get a measurement of 3.99 uh, centimeters. And again, that left ventricular size measurement, anything less than five centimeters. And so this is uh, considered normal. How about other measurements? Well, another measurement that we're interested in could be the left ventricular wall thickness. Um, and uh, for this, what we can do is, again, we can do it two ways, uh, showing M mode first. So M mode comes down here and goes through this particular uh, septal wall right here. And then up here, we can measure from one point of the septal wall to the other. 
and here this comes up as a measurement of 0.65. So what's a normal measurement in end diastole? Well, a normal measurement um, in, uh, in end diastole is gonna be something between 0.6 and 0.9, um, certainly uh, something less than one centimeter for, for maximal thickness. And this again is the way to do it with end mode. I'm gonna go to the next slide here. Now, alternatively, what I am not showing on this particular side is that, we, again, we can catch this in end diastole if we want, which would be approximately there, and then we can draw calipers across. And then by drawing calipers across, we can get that same measurement uh, as well. Uh, what I also wanted to highlight here is that we have calibration markers on this side of the screen here, and we can eyeball these things. Um, and so using the calibrations on the side, you can get a rough estimation just by looking if you don't want to put the calipers on, what looks big, what looks small, um, and you can get a rough idea uh, of whether or not if you need to take the time to get more formal measurements if things start to look uh, abnormal. So to recap, the summary of measurements in the parasternal long axis view that we're interested in is a left ventricular internal diameter. And we get this again, everything's gonna be at end diastole, and that should be less than five centimeters. A wall thickness, again, at end diastole, a max really is one centimeter, but normal somewhere between the range of 0.6 and 0.9. And a left atrial diameter, again, at end diastole, and that should be less than four centimeters. Thank you for watching. Please send feedback again to info at medspecialist.net. And uh, please, visit our, our, uh, please continue to visit our website or our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.